All right, let's talk about supplier evaluation and approval. This is one of the sections of the ISO 9001 standard that you're going to find in virtually every other management system standard out there from API, Q1, Q2, AS9100, you name it, the list goes on. So let's talk about some of the fundamentals of an approved supplier evaluation, qualification, tons of terms for it. Let's talk about the process. So what's it mean to approve a supplier? Now, before I even go down that road, let's remember that there are multiple terms still for supplier. We've got vendor, external provider, and they can even be some version of an interested party. Whole other conversation for another, another time. But the basics are we want to have some confidence that the folks we're contracting with that are not under our direct supervision as an employee would be are worthwhile. It's not all that complicated. It can get complicated when we talk about how we're going to score them, how we're going to evaluate them, but it can maintain a very simple approach. So some basics of supplier approval for you. For one, your supplier, well, you have to have used them before. Yeah, that's pretty much a must. And you say, well, Kyle, what about someone that's new that we've never used them before? Well, that's some additional approval. She authorized conditional approval. Basically, it's the same way that, uh, or not same, but similar way that when you start a new job, you're kind of given a 90-day probation period. They can fire you at any point in those 90 days, no harm, no foul. Okay, cool. We're going to do the same thing with our suppliers, except there's you know no issue of uh, you know employment tax and all that type of stuff in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for the next 90 days, we're going to use you. If you flub up and you don't correct it, you're out, you're off the list. Pretty simple. What about folks that we've used for years? Well, cool. Let's take our supplier questionnaire, which we're going to have a link for you to download. Let's take that supplier questionnaire and let's basically say, hey, we've used these folks for the past five years. Here's all the invoice numbers or all the purchase order numbers showing when we've used them. We've had no known issues. Management's happy with them. Fantastic. Document those details and let's get them approved as a supplier. The other remaining factor is we want to make certain that we monitor their performance. So you're going to use your standard non-conformance reporting tools, your corrective action tools, and you're going to set up a schedule with which you're going to evaluate them on a regular basis. It's not all that complicated. So make certain that when you're working with suppliers, external providers, vendors, whatever we might call them, that you have evidence to back up that they are worth your, their salt, that they are good at what they do, and that you monitor their performance. And you got it set up.